everybody i tushar jain cfo and research head of ajay stomani guru and tushar global services.com welcome all of you to our channel where we bring you the latest updates on the commodities market today we'll be diving into the world of sugar and exploring the recent developments in ice raw sugar futures so let's get started in our latest report ice raw sugar prices closed marginally higher on thursday reaching a two week high this was mainly attributed to the weak us dollar index and the firm tone of crude oil you see a uh, soft dollar generally spells bullish for most commodity prices and sugar is no exception the ic sugar futures for october delivery settled up 0.10 cents or 0.4 percent at two, at 24 cents per pound earlier the, earlier in the day if hit the highest level since june 26 reaching 24.25 cents per pound meanwhile in london august white sugar futures which are set to expire on friday rose 6.5 dollars or 0.9% to 693.6 per metric ton 693.60 dollars per metric ton there is also expectation of a small delivery associated with the with this contract this worth noting it's worth noting that the contract surged to a 3 week high dealers in the market have observed that it continues to consolidate trading within a recent narrow range they also noted that the easing us inflation and could potentially boost investment in commodities now here's an interesting correlation the rally in wti crude oil has actually supported gains in the sugar market higher crude oil prices benefit ethanol which in turn may prompt sugar mills worldwide to divert their gain sugar gain crush towards ethanol production instead of sugar this diversion ultimately do- reduces sugar supplies and also it impact uh, the rise in crude oil prices also impact the, ra- the prices of palm oil soya oil uh, the prices of these oils have also shown some upward movement in the yesterdays that is on the thursday on the thursday session however let's take a closer look at brazil the south the the center south region where sugar production rose 7.6% in the second half of june compared to the previous year industry group unica reported that it reached 2.7 million metric ton although this is good news it fell short of market expectations with sugar cane crush also being less than expected on the other hand sugar cane growers in india stop producing states are expressing concerns over scanty rainfall during the crucial growth period of the crop they fear that this could trim yields and reduce sugar output in the upcoming season drier condition in brazil have sped up the sugar harvest which is weighing on prices according to dealers but here is an interesting development the improving weather conditions in brazil have prompted sugar trader carzinco to raise its 2023 center south sugar production forecast by 500000 metric tons to 38.2 million metric tons Re- relatively high prices have influenced brazilian mills to favor using sugar cane to produce sugar rather than biofuel ethanol however it's not all smooth sailing Thailand one of the major sugar producer is facing challenges due to low rainfall this year in fact rainfall in Thailand is 28% below the same period last year the onset of the el nino weather system could potentially lower precipitation even further over the next 2 years experts predict that Thai sugar production could fall for the first time in 3 years and reach its second lowest level since 2009-10 moving on to the european union sudzuker expects it to remain a net sugar importer this year with global prices expected to stay high given this continued positive market movement uh, market environment sudzuker anticipates continued high sugar prices in the european union let's circle back to brazil the world's top sugar producer Analysts have reported that the strength of the Brazilian harvest has begun to weigh on prices as data shows a sharp upturn in average yields. 
Brazil's sugarcane crushing for the year 2023-24 season is expected to increase to 606.5 million metric tons, up from the previously estimated 598.5 million metric tons. This forecast adjustment is primarily due to favorable rainfall in the sugarcane fields. Finally, let's take a quick look at Indonesia as one of the world's top sugar importers. Indonesia aims to raise its white sugar output to 2.6 million tons this year and expects imports to fall below 1 million tons. Before we wrap up, let's touch on the speculator's position in raw sugar futures. Data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission that is CFTC, showed that speculators reduced their bullish bets in the week ending July 3. Funds cut 23,171 contracts from their net long positions in sugar in raw sugar, taking it to around 89,779 lots in the given period. That's that wrap up our comprehensive analysis on the recent developments in the ICE raw sugar futures market from the impact of the weak US dollar and firm crude oil prices to the challenges faced by different sugar producing regions. There is certainly a lot to consider when it comes to sugar's futures. As always, stay tuned for more updates on the fascinating world of commodities. Thank you and good day.